Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome to our 15th day of our month of mod celebration at the halfway point. And today, I'm bringing you what I consider to be the Roma Surrectorum equivalent for Medieval 2 Total War. Yes, today we're going to be looking at the Stainless Steel mod. Now, I say it's similar to Roma Surrectorum because it does a lot of the same things to Medieval 2 Total War that that mod does to Rome Total War such as try and make things more historically accurate, bring in much more factions, retool the combat system, the AI, the economic system, the map, and so on and so forth. So what you can expect from Stainless Steel is a whole lot more factions, such as the Kuismian Empire, the Cuman Khanate, and the Kingdom of Aragon. You can also expect a whole lot more new units, which are more historically accurate, and some factions like the Byzantine Empire have been completely rebuilt from the ground up. And that's something I love about the mod, is some of these factions which didn't really feel that unique or that distinctive or that fun to play as, now feel much more at home, I guess you could say. I guess I never really felt in the original game that a faction like the Byzantine Empire had the rich history that it did. I never felt like this empire used to be part of the Roman Empire, used to be the Eastern Roman Empire, but now when I play Stainless Steel, I get a much more imperialistic feeling, I guess. Another great thing about this mod is that it's very customizable. For example, it lets you customize the AI you're going to be fighting on the campaign map. You can decide whether or not you want the AI to be extremely aggressive, whether or not you want it to be cooperative, whether or not you want it to backstab you, and so on and so forth. Not only that, but there are two campaigns in this mod, one which takes place at the start of the Medieval 2 campaign, and another which takes place a hundred years later. And it's in that later campaign where my absolutely favorite thing about this mod comes into play. But before I get there, there is supposed to be another potential script that you can turn on, which alters a number of factors within the game. And this script is supposed to make things much more realistic by doing things such as adding in a supply system, adding in a field morale system, a command system, dynamic religious areas of recruitment, and so on. However, much to me actually trying to get this script to work, I could not, which is kind of a disappointment, so I can't really comment on it. Anyway, as I alluded to before, my favorite thing about this mod is the Mongols because I've always wanted sort of a Mongol Total War or just some kind of strategy game that focused in exclusively on the Mongols and, well, was good, of course. But thus far, in any game or mod I've seen, this stainless steel representation of the Mongols is probably the best. In most Medieval 2 mods that I've played that allow you to play as the Mongols, they're just kind of an afterthought, they're just kind of thrown in there, they're barely changed from the original game, but not in Stainless Steel. If you choose to play as the Mongols, you start off in the middle of the war with the Khwizmian Shah, with Genghis Khan personally leading his horde into the stacks of Khwizmian warriors just waiting for the slaughter. I gotta say, when playing as the Mongols, I just felt like a total badass. Not just because you already have large forces, fighting an empire that also has large forces, so you're already set out for massive pitched battles where thousands will die, but because this faction, like the Byzantine Empire, has really been built from the ground up, with a ton of new units and a ton of fantastic looking skins, that really make the Mongol Horde come into something of its own. But it's a ton of fun sweeping across the Middle East and Europe, just exterminating cities before your wrath. Though the one thing I will say is I'm pretty sure they had to have a custom voice actor for the Mongols announcers during the battles. You know, the guy that goes, oh, we've lost half our men, or whatever. And that's fine, but in the campaign map, it's still the same Middle Eastern announcer from the Arab factions in the original game. So on the campaign map, my troops call me Sultan, while in battles, they call me the Great Khan. That's probably the only tiny little issue that I'd ever nitpick. And hopefully that'll be changed somewhere down the road. But if you need voice actors, I totally, 100% volunteer my services. Anyway, I've rambled on enough about the Stainless Steel mod, and I want to get back to creating ample amounts of orphans and widows in my wake. 
So, I'm going to wrap this up and say, I hope you enjoyed this 15th day of our Month of Mods celebration, and I hope you'll join me tomorrow for another fantastic mod. And until then, this has been Joseph Vizrana Stalin, signing off for now, and I'll see you guys next time.